Supernova Everyday Essentials. Practical bite-sized exercises delivered by Miranda McPherson, professor, assistive technology trainer, and Supernova user. This series is focused on using Supernova to become proficient at the everyday computing tasks you or your clients need to be successful at home, school, and work. Well, thank you for coming. Um, like MJ said, this is for advanced users, but anyone can use this for any number of things. It's a way to um, create a static area um, within an application on your uh, screen there. Um, and what that means is something that doesn't change. Um, and what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna do something uh, pretty simple first, is I'm gonna do a hooked area for the time. So you could always have that in your line of sight, no matter our, where you're working on your screen. Um, hooked areas is a pretty simple process. It's really about a four step process. So the first one is actually initiating um, that hooked area um, and putting it into the magnification um, modification mode. Um, and you'll see what that is in just a moment. So it'll be left control and the numpad five. Entering magnification modification mode. Okay, you may see on your screen a little uh, white area there, a little square that has a blinking border around it. And so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the content in view within that square. So you're going to press and hold the left shift key and use your arrow keys to find the content. Go ahead and go down to the bottom here where that taskbar is. I'm just holding down shift and moving my arrow keys. Alrighty, I've got the time there in the box and I'm going to use my magnification keystrokes that you're probably already familiar with to enlarge in that uh, text there. So I'm going to do left control plus on the numpad. Five. Six, seven, eight, ten. Okay, and I'm going to switch back to the left shift and arrow keys to recenter that time. Okay, and then I'm going to widen that box just a little bit by pressing left control and the arrow keys so that I can bring in 9.03 a.m. into view. And then last, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it where I'd like to have that on the screen. And I'm just going to use the arrow keys with no modifier key. I'm going to bring it all the way down to the bottom and all the way over to the right. So it's kind of out of the way. I like to have mine nice and big there. Okay. Now the next, um, you can set multiple hooked areas, so multiple areas that you want to have on the screen. Um, in this case, I'm going to use an Excel workbook, and I'm going to use the formula bar as the hooked area. So I'm going to create an additional hooked area by pressing left control and numpad 5. And I'm going to hold down the left shift, use my arrow keys to find that formula bar. Okay, there it is. Okay, I'm going to bump that up on size just a little bit with just my normal magnification keys. Five. And I'm going to widen it by left control, right arrow. And lastly, I'm going to move it to the bottom with just the arrow keys. All right. Now, so step one was to do left control numpad five um, to initiate the hooked areas in the modification magnification mode. The second step was to resize, move your content into view, and locate your hooked area where you'd like to have it on the screen. Then the third step is to press escape. That takes it out of that magnification modification mode. Leaving modification mode. And I currently have my hooked areas active.
activated. If yours are, once you hit escape, yours go away. What you'll want to do is you're going to want to do left control and the numpad three that toggles on and off the hooked areas. Magnification hooks off. So that's hooks off. Magnification hooks, hooks on. on. Okay. So now I'm going to move uh, through the workbook. Copy A2. And you should see in that formula bar that I have in the hooked area down at the bottom left hand corner that that formula bar changes as I'm navigating Lunch A3. the workbook. Transportation total A5. $8.75 B5 has formula. And that can be particularly useful as you're inputting data or navigating a workbook and analyzing the data to see what the formula is in that formula bar. Okay, now I'm going to switch to a Word document. Task view, list view, book areas with Word Word. Hooked areas with word word. What is Earth's atmosphere? Okay, so you'll notice that the hooked area for the time is still valid, but now that we're on a different application, the hooked area that we once had for Excel is now prepared to have a hooked area for the Word document. So you're going to want to, if you want to modify a particular hooked area, you're going to press left control numpad six. Entering magnification modification mode. Okay. And you'll notice that the hooked area that I actually want to modify has that blinking border around it. But if I wanted to modify the time, I just press control and numpad six again, and it will cycle through the hooked areas. Okay. So now the time is got the highlighted blinking um, border there. So I'm going to do, do it once more and go back to the other hooked area. So I'm going to find my content. In this case, I may want to monitor the page I'm on and how many words I've got in the document as I'm writing maybe an essay or um, so I'm going to go ahead and press the left shift down arrow. Find my content. And for me, I'm going to take out the word page because I'll know one of one is the page section of the status bar. And again, I'm going to magnify that a bit. Six, seven. Recenter it with just the shift and my arrow keys. And then I'm actually going to make it a little smaller. I'm going to press the control and up arrow just to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and then I'm going to just use my arrow keys to go ahead and bring it all the way down to the bottom left hand corner. And then the last step is going to be to hit escape. So it takes that modification of, mode out of the modification mode. So as I'm creating and working on my document, I'll have a clear view of how many pages, how many words there are. Of course, you can expand that to include grammatical errors, spelling errors, and so forth. The last thing that we're going to do, so we've created a hooked area, we modified it. So we created it with left control five. We navigated to hooked areas with left control six, and then we're able to modify it. The last step is to delete a hooked area. So same process, you're gonna do left control and the numpad six to navigate to the hooked area you wanna delete. Entering magnification modification mode. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the area that has the page numbers and the word count. So it's got the blinking uh, border around it. I'm going to just press the delete key. Simple as that. Okay, now it highlights the second hooked area that I have here. I can choose to hit escape to take it out of modification mode and continue to work with having that hooked area available. Or I'll go ahead and, in this case, press delete. Leaving modification mode. And now our hooked areas are gone. And that's a pretty simple process. And that's it for today's lesson on hooked areas. Thank you. Whatever your level of sight, today or in the future, you can rely on Supernova to help you succeed. Download an unrestricted 30-day trial of any Supernova edition today.